Lumos. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh. I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that Hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. You think Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Ah, 
How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find it interesting? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I wish there was something I could do. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Huh? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could Rebellion. not choose a favorite shop here. It changes my everything. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh,
goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellion. An honest day's work for an honest... Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Rebellion.
Revelio. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. 
Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Rebellion. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. Rebellion. Rebellion. Love yourself. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Draw 
Fort away from the building! Away from the village! Trying to beat him at his own game. I like it too much. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair all. Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Revelio. Repairer. We're just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. 
I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardwear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're welcome to peruse my shop at your. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Revelio! You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. 
Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Lumos. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Revelio. Rebellion.
Handy resource indeed. Rebellion. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. you. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, Care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. If I had to pick a professor to race against, it would be Hopper. Revelio. I agree. There's, There's only so much one can in there. Rebellion. Oh. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against Trill.
Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio. I should come back to this another time. And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was... Rebellion. me Revelio I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me professor Good Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, 
burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Rebellion. Rancorous carp sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us in his containment. It was granted my privileges to be handsome indeed. Or I fired up a cannon. Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Rebellion. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Nassie. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Akio. 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 Akio.
I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Rebellion. it is she's right thank you well it's their own fault for saving it and then letting it grow from Rebellion. Might some kind soul help me? I trust Mr. Brattleby was able I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Good work. Incendio. Help me with my sad predicament. Kind 
soul help me? Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. <laughs> <laughs> 